Hey everybody, it's Scott here from the Gear Rules channel and this isn't my typical video, but the other day I was trying to set up my Steinberg USB audio interface for my M1 MacBook Pro and I kept running into issues with enabling system extensions. The instructions said basically shut down your computer and utilize the startup service utility to enable those extensions. Well, I found several instructions online on how to do it and none of them actually got me to enable it. So I ended up piecemealing a couple instructions together and finally got it to work. So we're gonna be going over those steps in this video. Now it's important to note that you are going to be slightly reducing the security of your MacBook by following these steps, albeit to Apple identified developers, which is usually like trusted developers, but it is important to note that you are slightly reducing that security. So do your own research before following these instructions. Lastly, if you find this video helpful, would really appreciate you hitting that thumbs up. It helps this channel out and it helps other people trying to find the instructions that we're about to go over. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. When I was following instructions online, I would have success up until the point when you actually had to reduce the security and then I got a pop-up saying no administrator was found, which I thought was really weird because my account was an administrator. The first step in these instructions might not be mandatory for all operating systems, but was the key to my success and that is creating a new admin user. This can be done by going to the users and groups section in your settings and hitting add account. This account will be an administrator and you just give it a simple name. I give it the name of user and I create the password as password. Don't worry, at the end of these instructions, we'll actually go and delete this user account, but it serves a purpose for these instructions. Now that the new account has been created, next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and shut off our MacBook. Now that the MacBook is fully powered off, we're gonna turn it on, but we're gonna press and hold the power on button until it says loading startup options, where we will be able to access startup security utility. For step four, we're actually gonna to navigate to the options and log into our newly created user account when prompted to. For step five, you're actually gonna to navigate to the utilities option in the top left of your screen and click on startup security utility. Once you've selected this, it'll again ask you to unlock your disk by using that user account that you created and have used in these instructions. Once unlocked, go ahead and hit security policy and finally hit that reduce security and make sure you hit the option for only identified developers and finally hit that user password one more time and you'll get a spinning wheel while it applies that security policy. The spinning wheel will last a few seconds and then eventually we'll be able to restart our computer. Once our computer is restarted, we have successfully reduced the security. Now assuming you followed my first instructions, the last thing we need to do is actually go in and delete that other user account just to kind of clean up the mess that we made. Now that all this is done, you should be able to enable system extensions like you probably were trying to do before watching this video. I hope you all found this video super helpful. And again, hit that like and subscribe to support this channel. Thanks, take care. We'll catch you on the next one.